Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you are new then welcome. My name is Jillian and today as you guys can see from the title I will be talking to you guys about my first ever YouTube paycheck. Now it's been I would say maybe two months or a little over two months maybe about two and a half months that I have received my first YouTube paycheck which is so exciting. It's definitely a huge milestone for me because I am still a very small YouTuber but I was so excited to receive my first YouTube paycheck and I did mention it to you guys in a previous vlog and after I uploaded that vlog mentioning in that vlog that I received my first YouTube paycheck I received so many messages from you guys asking if I can do a sit down video on how I received my first YouTube paycheck I did not plan on filming this video but I keep on getting messages to film this video and request so I'm just gonna give you guys what you want and I'm gonna sit down and let you guys know how to receive your first YouTube paycheck how long it took me now I am no pro I'm still very new to YouTube I am a very small youtuber I still have so many questions myself so I'm not that educated on how you receive your first paycheck and all the rules and everything but I will let you guys know things that I know and hopefully it helps you guys out to get your first YouTube paycheck if you guys have your own YouTube channel now first things first in order for you to be paid on on YouTube you have to monetize your videos when you monetize your videos that means you are going to let ads roll on your videos now you can choose to monetize any videos that you would like so you can choose to monetize certain videos and then not monetize other videos it is up to you anytime you guys see an ad roll on someone's videos that means they are monetizing their videos so they are getting paid for those videos you also have to reach a certain threshold to be able to monetize your videos and get paid which is 1,000 subscribers and also 4,000 hours of view time so if you guys have 1,000 subscribers and you also have 4,000 hours of view time in total then you could monetize your videos now once you reach your threshold of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 view time hours then you could go ahead and monetize your videos once your videos are monetized and you will start getting paid for those ads that are rolling on your video now i'm not sure exactly how much you get paid per view per ad because i know it's very very little it's like a few cents per ad so i'm not sure exactly how much you get paid and obviously if you're a bigger youtuber then you're going to be getting paid much more than a smaller youtuber like myself now a lot of people think that you get paid for subscribers you do not get paid for your subscribers you get paid for the views on your channel and on your videos so the more views you get on a video then that means people are more likely to be able to see those ads on your videos so you're going to be getting paid more now you also have to make an account with google adsense and that is how you are going to be getting paid through google adsense google does own youtube so that is how you are going to get paid for those ads that are going to be rolling on your videos. So once you have applied for Google AdSense and you have reached your threshold, they will send you a letter in the mail that looks like this and inside will be a PIN number. That PIN number is important, so remember to save that PIN number. I put this somewhere that I know I'm not going to lose it. Also, there is a threshold that you have to reach in order to get your paycheck. You have to reach $100 each month to be able to get your paycheck, so say this month you were at $99.99 even though you're only one cent short you will not be getting paid it will roll over to the following month and then once you reach that $100 threshold then they will release your paycheck so once you reach your $100 threshold they are going to want you to verify your bank account so they will send you a few cents into your account and then you have to verify how much was put into your bank account and then they will verify it and then you could get paid you also get paid through direct deposit i know back in the day they used to give you an option you can either choose direct deposit or you could choose a paper check but i don't think you can choose a paper check anymore at least they didn't give me the option the only option was to get direct deposit so every month on a certain date you will get direct deposit into your account whatever amount that you made from your videos so usually for me on the 11th is when google adsense will update and i will see how much money i made from that previous month and then on the 15th is when i will see the money be direct deposited into my bank account now i'm not sure if that date is for everyone it's just for me the 11th is when i see it updated in google adsense and the 15th is when i usually see it 
in my bank account. You're also going to have to fill out a W-9, which is your taxes. Now, YouTube does not take out taxes. So at the end of the year, you are going to owe money. Do not mess with the IRS. You have to pay your taxes unless you want to be arrested. I do not mess with the IRS. So I filled out my W-9s and I am putting a little bit of money to the side. So at the end of the year, when it's time for taxes, I will have money to pay my taxes back and I won't get in trouble. So that's one thing you guys should remember is that every time you get a YouTube paycheck, you should definitely put a little bit to the side so at the end of the year, you could pay your taxes. So I think I've covered most everything, at least things that I know off the top of my head that I think that you guys would find helpful in order to get your first YouTube paycheck, which is you have to have 1,000 subscribers, you have to have 4,000 hours of view time, you have to apply for Google AdSense, you have to have a bank account so you can get direct deposited into your account. You should always save some money on the side so you can pay your taxes at the end of the year because YouTube does not take out taxes from your YouTube paychecks. You have to reach $100 in order for them to be able to pay you and release your paycheck. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but you don't get paid in the same month. So let's say November. I'm not going to get my paycheck from November this month. I will get it next month in December. So November's paycheck you get in December. December's paycheck you get in January. All right, guys. So I think I've covered most everything. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below and I will try my very best to answer them for you guys. Like I said, I don't know too much about this because I am still a very small YouTuber and I'm still learning myself but I thought I would just share with you guys the things that I know because you guys have been wanting me to film this video for a while. All right now to the good part of how much I got paid for my first YouTube paycheck, which I'm sure a lot of you guys clicked on this video to know how much I got paid for my first YouTube paycheck ever. Now, I've heard that you're not allowed to disclose exactly how much you get paid through YouTube. I've heard you can get in trouble for that, but then I've also heard that you are allowed. I would rather play it safe and not let you guys know exactly how much I got paid down to the cent, but I will let you guys know a ballpark about how much I got paid for my first YouTube paycheck. My first YouTube paycheck was under $200, but more than $150. So you guys can kind of guess on how much I got paid from that ballpark. Like I said, it was under $200, but it was more than $150. And if you would like to know how long it took me to get my first YouTube paycheck, it took me a little over a year. That's how long I've had my YouTube channel. And it's honestly my own fault for how long it took me to get my first YouTube paycheck because I was not very consistent when I first started my channel. I would upload a video and then I would go like a week or two without uploading another video. So being consistent is probably key to receiving your first YouTube paycheck. Make sure that you are being consistent. Make sure you are interacting with your subscribers and you're talking to them, liking their comments. And I promise you will receive your first YouTube paycheck before you know it. Your hard work will pay off. I thought I was never going to receive my first YouTube paycheck, so it's very nice to be able to receive a small paycheck, especially when you are a stay-at-home mom. Okay, guys, so I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, I don't know too much about this just because I am still new to this. I am a small YouTuber, and I'm still learning along the way. But I know you guys really wanted this video. I kept on getting requests for this video, so I decided to give you guys what you wanted. So hopefully you guys found this helpful and enjoyed today's video. As always, if you guys have not already, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.